Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to share with you guys how to kill juggernauts in State of Decay 2. Uh, these zombies, these juggernauts are absolutely insane. <laughs> uh, they're much stronger than I anticipated. When I first started playing the game, I was like, oh, they can't be that bad, right? Like if I hit them with a, with a vehicle going full speed, they have to at least get hurt. But that is not the case. These guys are mega zombies. They are super strong, super tough, and very, very difficult to kill. Uh, so I wanted to share with you guys the easiest way to do so. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump right into this video. So the first thing that I want to address is basically what I just said, and that's the fact that vehicles do not work against these juggernauts. Um, I highly recommend not trying to run them over with your car. Um, sometimes your vehicle will explode. Sometimes your vehicle will just get badly damaged. And the juggernaut's going to just sit there and look at you like you're an idiot and, uh, and try to get to you. So don't try to take them out with your vehicle. It's not going to work. It's not going to damage them. Uh, so it's not worth it. The second thing you need to know are the juggernauts are always immune to fire. So Molotov cocktails and petrol bombs are not going to work as well. Don't make the mistake of trying to hit them with a Molotov from a few feet away and them shrugging it off and, and, and chasing you down with their 100 mile an hour uh, sprint <laughs> they can do. So uh, keep in mind they are immune to fire, no Molotovs and, uh, and no petrol bombs. So what you need to do to be able to take these guys out, the first thing you need to do is aim for the head. You need to always make sure that you have uh, some sort of rifle with a lot of ammo. Generally, the pistols aren't going to do anything. Uh, sometimes if you have the magnum, that might actually help. Um, that might be pretty good. Um, but most of the time, the pistols are garbage and aren't going to affect the, the juggernaut at all. So make sure that you do have some sort of rifle. And I highly recommend bringing tons of ammo for it can take a lot of ammo to take these guys out. Um, and you need to aim for the head. Like I said, the headshot is key with the juggernaut. You need to hit him in the face as many times as you possibly can. Uh, and you need to keep hitting him in the head until he drops to his knees. That is all that you can do with a rifle, with a, with a gun. Um, that's that's the, the, the furthest you can get to taking him out. So you need to attack him with a rifle, headshots only, until he falls to his knees. That's when you can go into the next step, and that's to finish him off. The only way to kill the Juggernaut, the only way to finish him is to use a special attack the, with the melee move, um, which is the RT and X combination. If you don't do this, uh, the Juggernaut's just going to be on his knees, he's going to regain health, and he's going to get back up and continue to fight. So uh, the only way that you can finally eliminate the Juggernaut is to use a special melee move on him, which is, again, the RT and X combination. Uh, so to recap, make sure that you use plenty of ammo to shoot him in the head, make him drop to his knees. Once he's on his knees, uh, rush the Juggernaut and use the RTX combo uh, to use a finishing move to destroy him, and, uh, and you'll be able to take him out. Just some extra things that you should probably know. The Juggernauts are too big to fit through doorways and windows, so use that to your advantage when you are attacking them. Uh, if you're out in the open, I highly recommend, especially if there's a lot of zombies around him, I don't recommend trying to fight him, for they can run really, really fast. and can be very, very difficult to take out when out in the open. Um, but again, they can't fit through doorways, uh, and they can't they can't fit through windows, and most of the time they can't run through things unless they're, they're breakable. So if there is a fence that you can break, um, they can run through that, but if there's a small wall, he's not going to be able to jump over it. The juggernauts are huge, which, uh, which is kind of nice. That helps you out uh, to, to some extent. Um, but use that to your advantage when you're trying to take these guys out. But anyway, guys, that's for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy uh, this video on how to kill juggernauts in the state of Decay 2. If you guys have any questions, anything else to add, make sure to leave it down in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Can we be